This is Plaza Constitucion. This is a big old awesome train station. See all these like really cool metal rafters up there. It's a major train station in the southern part of the city. Uh, all the lines, all the lines from uh, out south and east, uh, from like La Plata, they all come through here. And today is the day of the presidential election. And uh, I've already seen some polling places on the street before I came in on the train. And the polling opened at 8 o'clock in the morning, so it's open already. And uh, today's the day that everybody's going to vote. There's a, a banner up there. Masa Presidente. Like I said, you see, you see uh, lots of stuff everywhere. You see that up there? See, lots of... Yeah, that dude, that dude's everywhere. I'm telling you, he's everywhere. But we're gonna hop on the soup day, and uh, we'll head into the city and see if we can uh, see what's going on on the day of the election. You can see the train station here. I'll flip it around so you can see it's really beautiful architecture. Banner up there, also because it's election day. La Preparación de Trenes Argentinos No Amelie. I think that's like an anti Amelie banner because he wants to privatize all the trains. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful train station though. I mean, this is like classic old school architecture, very cool. Uh, I'm not very busy today because it's Sunday. Uh, I've been in here on other days in the weekday and you know everything everything is just packed with people here. It's super super busy um, Go out here head outside Oops, Smells like auto's jacket in here again I'm noticing that a lot of places uh, I go around Argentina sort of smell like auto's jacket uh, Which you know is all right with me, I guess but it seems like, uh, I think technically, uh, technically it's not legal, but you know, I smell it everywhere, so. Right across the street, jaywalking because well, everybody does it here, so we're just gonna do it. Try and get a shot. Lots of constitution behind me. Beautiful, beautiful architecture, just amazing. All right, so here we go. We're gonna head over to Supte. My Supte card was uh, was not quite working properly this morning. Like I tried to get on the train and it gave me a tarjeta invalida, invalid card. It gave me that a couple of times. I thought maybe I had grabbed the wrong card, the like extra one that I bought just in case. Uh, and that one doesn't have any money on it. So I went and added money at the station. Turns out it did have money on it. There's just the cards being a little wonky. So I think it's probably a good thing that I bought uh, the extra card that I did because I don't know how much longer this card's gonna last. Like honestly, <laughs> it might be we might we might be in trouble with this card. But that's okay. Got an extra card. Um, I don't know what happens to all the money that I put on the card if uh, if the card craps out. If I can get that refunded, but either way, it's only about I don't know 12, 1200. Okay, so it's about a buck fifty. So if I if I end up uh, losing it, it's not it's not that big a deal. So
¿Vas a decirle? No. Gracias. Soy un poco estúpido hoy. the train uh, it was free it was free to get on I think that might be why the card said card invalid because I think maybe today uh, the whole system is free like for the election that would make sense uh, but I'm not sure we're, we're, we'll keep trying but I mean if, if that's the case then I guess I don't need to worry about my my, uh, my subway card but um, we'll see we'll find out if we can ask somebody Unidades experimentales del gobierno de turno y de la oposición que conforman una asociación ilícita que nos manda al muere a gusto de ellos sin que nosotros podamos participar. Si alguno de los que subió quiere saber cuándo son los encuentros que son de lunes a jueves en Casa Rosada frente a las piedras, en el Congreso de 10 Random station. I'm just gonna see what's going on in this neighborhood. This is the Kashao uh, Kashao station. Looks pretty nice so far. It is Sunday, so a lot of things are closed. Things close on Sunday around right here. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff open. I see a few things open, but most things. I found around here are closed on Sunday. The neighborhood, you can see not a lot of people on the streets. Everything slows down here on Sunday. Um, I mean, it's really like go, go, go the rest of the time. Very busy, lots of people. But on Sundays, not so much. Let's see if we can poke around here. I kind of want to see if I can find like a, a place where people are voting. I mean, I don't know. I, it seems like it's a big day. It's like a big important day. And, you know, I want to get out and try and try and film, try and document. But what do you really document? You know what I mean? It's people like walking into a school or like a municipal building or something and just filling out a little card. I can't do it. I can't go in there. I can't vote. Uh, so it's not like I can really show much. This may have, uh, this may have been a misguided, misguided attempt. That's all right. Uh, there's a McDonald's across the street and I think I'm actually going to go in there and get a coffee. Those many alumnus. Because I don't think anything else is going to be open. So, there we go, McDonald's. Let's go, we'll hit it up. Okay, so, mystery solved. I asked the guy in McDonald's uh, why the uh, soup that was free today, and it is, because of the election, uh, which makes sense. So, free subway rides. You know, it's strange, I'm sitting in this park, like, right around the corner, and uh, it's, it's a weird feeling, because it feels like it's a really, really important day today, and it is a really important day for Argentina, but... I'm uh, completely on the outside of it and so I had sort of planned today to get up and go into the city and film everything that was going on but it's really just another kind of you know slow uh, Sunday I mean look I'm at this park here look it's just people hanging out a lot of people with their dogs, and uh, you know it's a it's a sort of a quiet, uh, quiet Sunday. And even if, if if there was a lot going on, it's not like I can you know go into a polling place and like film what's going on there, or at least I wouldn't want to. Um, you know, it's, it's it's something that that I'm not involved in at all. But it's uh, it is a very weird feeling because it feels like something very important is happening today and um, you 
when I was on the, the subway today, there were people talking about it. I could hear them talking about Massa and Millet and like who they voted for, who they were going to vote for. So uh, it's, it's an important day, but it's also something that I think uh, I think we're not going to know how important until until later, until after it's over, until a few days from now. But here's a hot take, and this is this is actually really important. My hot take for the day: the Media Lunas at McDonald's are actually pretty good. <laughs> I got. I got some that were fresh, like they had just come out, they were warm and fresh. And the coffee that I got was brewed fresh. I watched the guy brew it up like a fresh pot. And uh, it was pretty good. I'm serious, it was good. There's, there's better ones, I've had better ones. And there are definitely better ones in other places, but like, they're not bad. They're not bad if you get them fresh, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I didn't, I didn't mean to, uh, to uh, discount the importance of the day, but that was just something I was thinking about after having them. They are pretty good. There's the hot take. All right, so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do today? All right, I think what we're gonna do, because we are from the United States, and because we just ate in a McDonald's, which is a very, like, uh, United States thing to do, I am going to go uh, to a mall. There's a big mall a few stops from here, and I've been really interested to see what like a giant uh, mall in Buenos Aires looks like. So let's just go there and we'll, we'll check it out. And we'll do the, uh, the United States thing of like wandering around the mall. All right, so we made it to what I think is the mall right here across the street. Big, cool looking old building. I've noticed there's a lot of like big, cool-looking old buildings in Buenos Aires. It seems like that's what Buenos Aires is, a bunch of big, cool-looking old buildings, uh, which is pretty neat. They do call it the Paris of South America, and uh, you can sort of see why when you look at some of the architecture. Like this building that's right on the corner next to the mall, you zoom in, you can take, take a look at that thing. The architecture is very European. It's very cool. Alright, let's go into the mall. Alright, so to wander around the mall, it's nice in here. A lot of people around shopping. And uh, yeah, I mean it's uh, it's definitely a mall. Fila store over here. And oh, of course, can't get away. Starbucks, you can never get away from Starbucks no matter how hard you try. It's always a Starbucks. It follows you everywhere. You can go to another continent and there will still be the Starbucks following you around. Take a little wander here. Oh, lo siento. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. It looks like it's a uh, multi-levels. There's escalators going up. Uh, oh, you know what? We're gonna go upstairs. I just actually saw right upstairs. There's a store called Gaming City. One of the things I need to get, or I'm trying to get, is a better uh, headset. Because right now, when I play on my PC and I try to uh, talk to people on Discord and whatnot, friends. I have these terrible, te absolutely terrible, like, $5 earbuds uh, that are, I mean, they're just, they're really terrible and nobody can hear me. So we'll go upstairs maybe and see, see if they have something better that I could buy there. I'm trying to find something real specific. Like, I don't want over-the-ear headsets because they're huge. They take up a ton of space and I just don't have that much space in my backpack. So if I bought them, I wouldn't be able to take them with me. I'd have to just kind of like leave them here. Uh, so I'm looking for something that's like an in-the-ear headset, but that is, uh, I don't know, better than what I have. Maybe one that's like specifically, uh, maybe one that's specifically designed for gaming. So let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go 
find this store. It's right around the corner here. I just saw it when I was passing by. I saw it up on this level. And uh, wow, this is really cool. They got like lights up there in the ceiling. See? Which makes me think this is some sort of like exhibition space. They maybe have like, I mean, it's a food court. All the restaurants are here, but maybe like in the center here, they have. I don't know, performances, shows. It kind of looks like they do the way these lights are. But, or maybe it's just to light everything up when it's night and there's no sunlight coming in. I don't know. Let's try and take a look at this gaming store and see what we can find. Gaming City. Here we go. Looks pretty good. I mean, they got a bunch of like super, super nerdy PCs out in front. I mean, look at this, this thing. Oh my God. <laughs> That's some hyper, hyper gamer PC. Look at that thing. <laughs> uh, it looks like some sort of spaceship, which means this might be the right place. Let's check it out. Tech. Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta un eso? Okay. Setenta y seis. Setenta y Logitech. Uh, ¿Cuánto? Puedo verlo. Uh -huh. uh, oh no, puedo verlo a uh, Logitech. Sí, sí. Okay. 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 Gracias. Caro, yeah. carísimo. <laughs> es caro, es muy caro. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Uh, okay. Eh, y uh, yes. tenes, tenes uh, algo, algo más o solamente los dos? Okay. Es para hoy. Today uh, uh, es. Sí, sí, para hoy. Okay. O, o, o okay. Uh, posiblemente mm. luego. Okay. Hoy. Sí. Oh, okay. In, in those days? Okay. Uh, All right. con tarjeta? Yes. ¿Sí? Yes. ¿De tarjeta? Ah, sí, tarjeta. Aquí tienes. Ok. Eh, um, eh, document. Oh, ah... Uh, 
¿Pasaporte? O? Ya. Uh, tengo un uh, fotocopio. Oh, ¿sí? Está bien. Está bien. If you're ever in Buenos Aires and you need uh, gaming equipment, check this place out. Right here. Hold on, let's see. Uh, uh, there we go. ¿Cómo se llama? Gaming City. Oh, ¿y, y cómo te llamas? Santiago. Santiago. Gracias, Santiago. De nada. ¿De dónde eres? Oh, uh, soy de Estados Unidos. Yeah. Sí, sí, yo estoy de Chicago. Ah, uh, my brother is a Oh, sí? Yeah. Uh, de uh, qué, uh, 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 qué ciudad? Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta. Oh, Atlanta. Atlanta. Atlanta, sí. Yes. Un uh, muy, buen, uh, muy, muy buena ciudad. Sí, linda. Sí. Mucho hace que estás aquí. Uh, mucho estás acá, hace mucho tiempo. Tú. Oh, no, no, no. Es mi, uh, mi primera vez en Argentina. Es, es uh, solamente, um, uh, solamente es, uh, estaba acá por uh, un, una semana. Ok, ¿El ¿trabajo o visita? Uh, visita, visita. visita. Vacaciones, sí. Vacaciones, ¿te gustó? Sí, 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 sí. Me, me, gusta, me gusta mucho, uh, uh, pero so, solamente uh, para una bueno, semana, una pero semana. una ah, buena bien. semana. Bueno. Sí. ¿Buenos Aires o provincia? Uh, uh, eh, estaba en provincia, yeah. uh, pero, wow. pero cerca, cerca. Okay. Uh, por tren es uh, como uh, 15 minutos. Okay. Sí. Oh, eh, y también uh, el, el subte, uh, yeah. hoy para sí. la elección uh, pasa libre, sí. sí. Pero es, um, es el mismo en todo el sistema, los trenes sí. y, y, sí. y colectivos también. Sí. Oh, ok, entiendo. Y, y solamente hoy para la, le sí. la elección, ok, <ríe> entiendo. Okay, so mission accomplished. We got a nice pair of uh, J JBL Bluetooth earbuds that were uh, like 75,000 pesos, which is a more than I was expecting to spend. Although he showed me some other stuff that they could like order. One of them was a Logitech pair that was like 200, I think it was 280,000 pesos, which is insanely expensive. But uh, So we got these. I got these JBLs. I think they're going to be good. That guy was really nice. Uh, I guess if you're ever here in Buenos Aires and you need to get some good gaming gear, that's the spot. Come to the mall here, uh, Alasto Shopping Center, and go up to, what was it, the one, two, third floor, uh, and check that place out. Check it out. Gaming, what was it, Gaming City, I think? Yeah, it was good. It was good. So hopefully these things work. Uh, hopefully I didn't just get ripped off, but uh, if I did, then I did. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Uh, but anyway, spent a little more than I was hoping to spend today, but I mean, I guess we were trying to do the, uh, we were trying to do the, the, the United States thing to do, which was wander around them all and likely spend money that we shouldn't have spent on something that we really can't afford. But. You know, such is the way, such is the way. Anyway. All right, so we're back here, Plaza Constitución, about to get back on the train. And one thing I wanted to talk about just before, uh, before we do, when I bought um, these headphones at the mall, I didn't have enough cash, so I paid with a credit card. And interestingly enough, just recently, maybe within the last, uh, I wanna say it was uh, like six months ago, I'm not sure exactly when it happened, but the government uh, introduced a new rate for foreign credit cards. It's the tourist uh, exchange rate. 
and it's close to the blue dollar exchange rate. The blue dollar exchange rate right now is something like 900, 950 pesos. And I think the uh, tourist exchange rate is about 750 pesos, whereas the official exchange rate is like 350 pesos. So you get a good deal with foreign credit cards. Um, most of the time when I'm buying stuff, I try and buy it with cash because it is just a little bit cheaper and you get a better deal if you're paying with cash that you exchange at the blue dollar rate. But if you have to buy something with a credit card um, and you're a tourist coming here, it's not a bad deal. So, uh, you know, the, the the headphones, I think, you know, were, I think it was like 75,000 pesos. So that's going to be end up being like 100 bucks, which, um, you know, it, it's pricey. It's pricey, but they're uh, they're good. They're good headphones. And I think it was worth it to buy them um, because honestly, the, the little crappy earbuds that I had, like from the... I mean, just those things, those things are terrible. And I, I guarantee that they're going to break like any day now, any day now. So I was going to have to do this at some point. So I'm glad I did. But uh, what did we accomplish today? Not much, honestly, not much. We were trying to uh, come into the city and like film uh, what was going on on election day. And it turns out uh, what's going on on election day is basically what goes on on every Sunday except also people are voting so it's a very very important day for Argentina but on the surface it's really just like any other Sunday except uh, the entire public transportation system is free that's another thing we found out it's not just the subte it's uh, the colectivos the buses and also the trains are free today which is great um, I think it makes sense because the election is compulsory everybody between the age of 18 and 70 has to vote and if you make it so that everybody has to vote, you should also make it so that public transportation is free so people can get to where they need to go to vote. I think that makes perfect sense. Anyway, we're going to hop on the train now. And um, and uh, I guess in, in a few days, we're going to know who won this election. Uh, by the time this video gets uploaded, the election will already be over. Uh, but, but we're going to know. We're going to know in a few days. And it's going to be a major... Uh, a major um, historical event in the history of Argentina anyway, no matter what ends up happening. Um, so, so we'll see. So I, I think that's it. We gotta hop on the train. So we're out on the streets day after the election and the winner was declared and it is Javier Mirier. And he won by a pretty considerable margin, more than 10% which was a little surprising to me. Not that he won, uh, but that it, was, it wasn't it was as close as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, like I had said before, Massa seemed to be making a big push right at the end. We saw a lot of Massa posters everywhere. He did well in the most recent debate, but honestly, Millier, he had the groundswell. He had the grassroots popularity, especially with young voters. And uh, I can definitely see how he, he ended up winning. Um, it's kind of hard to win an election when you're the guy who everybody blames for the current economic problems. So I don't think Massa uh, was able to overcome that problem. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to say, as a, you know, all of this is gonna is gonna be after the election is already over. This video is gonna come out. So this is like me taking a break from video editing just to come out and say this as I go to get something to eat. Uh, but I, I don't really know what's going to happen next. Um, I don't know enough about the political situation or the economy to know what's going to happen next. And it's really not, you know, I, I, I'm not, uh, you know, I don't live here. I just visit. There's a part of me that thinks, you know, how could things possibly get worse? But there is another part of me that has studied history and unfortunately knows that things can always get worse. But, I really hope that's not the case. I really do hope that things get better here in Argentina and not worse. And it's going to be up to the people here what am I trying to say? Whatever happens, I just really hope that it's something good 
for the people of Argentina because honestly, it's a great country and, and there are some really great people here. People who I knew from before and people who I've met when I've been here in the short time that I've been here. And they, they just, they deserve better. They deserve better than what they've got over the last few years. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully they get it.